What is going on, champions of the arena? I am the host with the most sleepy here, back in the Apex Legends video, of course. And today we're going to be breaking down Gibby, kind of telling his bad story, his bibliography, you know, his you know his time, what he's done before the Apex games, stuff like that. Getting into detail of him. The gameplay is awesome. I highly suggest using the Gold Spitfire and the RE45. The RE45 slaps. Like, I know a lot of people love the 99. I do too as well. Trust me. Like it's the go-to or, or the 301. You know. But I decided to just stick with the RE45 and the Spitfire today, and it was just it was incredible. Like this is a fun game. Had a great game with Gibby, and this is like my first game with Gibby actually on today. So I don't really play him a lot, but I decided just for the video, get some gameplay of him, and hey, maybe I'll start using him in the future. But um. Obviously, like I got the gold Spitfire, and I felt like a boss battle. Like I felt like the final boss battle that you complete, like in the game. You know, like, I was just out here mowing them down. I was mowing these kids down. <laughs> so let's get into the video. So Gibby, he's a male, age 30. He's coming in at 292 pounds. Height is six feet five inches. Whoa! His home world is Solace. Uh, he's a defense legend, of course. You know, he's got his dome, he's got his gun shield, he's got his... He's fortified, we all know that. You know, some bibliography on him. Gibby is a gentle giant with a wild side. The son of two search and rescue association volunteers has always been skilled at getting others out of dangerous situations that are common in the Outlands. However, he only b began to understand the value of protecting all others when he and his boyfriend Nicholas stole his father's motorcycle, took it on a joyride, and got trapped by a deadly mudslide. His parents saved him, and his father's lost an arm in the process. What? Gibby has never gotten that sacrifice, has never forgotten that sacrifice, and has devoted his life to helping those in need. The Apex games didn't change that, but they did change what it meant. Many of Gibby's friends and colleagues have competed in the games for extra money, fame, and glory over the years, and some never came home. Gibby joined them to keep them safe for the first time. His skills as a rescuer and his rebellious nature work together. He's now become an icon in the Apex games, putting himself on the line of fire to protect his squad and send his opponents running for cover, which is pretty cool. Obviously, Gibby is one like meta like in the game. You know, his dome is super good his gun shield is just like to take a Kramer bullet you know his old is awesome for getting out of sticky situations or for a push you know it's great uh, fortify for those that don't know what fortify means it means he takes 15% less damage from every attack fortified legends have immune to slow effects from weapon fire so like weapons like heavy weapons don't really affect TV. Um, weapons like you know, if I were to have a Spitfire or if I were to have a Flatline and I shot a Wraith, a Wraith would slow down. But with Fortified Legends, Costa and Gibby, they don't get affected by this, which is totally... Ah, uh, we, don't, we don't have to talk about that. That's for a different video. But uh, Gibby has some cool stands. He definitely does. He has, you know, that Transformer scheme. The famous, famous one, the Teddy Bear, you know, the Polar Bear one. If you have that one, props to you. That's, like, the best one, I feel like. That's just, like... You know, like, what? What are you going to do? What? It's a polar bear coming at you. Right? What? <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, Gibby, Gibby's great. He's here to stay. He's been getting buffs. He's been getting nerfs. He's all over the place. You know, he's not really, like, in a certain spot. I feel like they're going to keep messing around with his kit. They're definitely just got a nerf right now with his dome. It went from 18 to 12 seconds. So hopefully, you know, he gets some loving. Maybe in the future, maybe not. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about Gibby? I hate fighting Gibbies personally, but I love them on my team. It's one of those characters, just like a Revenant. You hate fighting them because all they have to do is like ult and use their tactical. But at the same time, when they're on your team, like, hey, it's like, it feels good. Like, you're like, hey, like, we, we got this. Like, like, it's easy money. Like, we got this. Like, <laughs> So we got quests coming out tomorrow, which is big because we're gonna find out who the mole is. We already know. We already know. Like if you stuck around this channel, you already know who the mole is. So I'm just trying to hey, giving you a warning now. When you figure out who it is, like hey, believe you predicted it. I'm just saying. I, I'm like if it's not Costage, like I'm gonna I'm gonna be sad because I'm pretty sure. Like I've done like the research. I've read the lines. I've done the quest many times. Reading over looking at the information and uh yeah i don't know hopefully we get some information on olympus maybe we get some information on a new map tomorrow i know a lot of stuff will be dropping one a bunker will be opening two as well and we're gonna get a new quest so crazy stuff tomorrow don't miss out a lot of videos will probably be posted tomorrow maybe like one or two 
Uh, so anyway, like this video, subscribe for new to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. One second, we got this.